everyone, I'm Kyle Cadena, Studio Director at Music Resource Center Cincinnati, and I'm here to show you how to play guitar. So the first thing you want to do is tune your guitar. I have a clip-on tuner here, um, but you can go to the piano and play the notes that you need to play, um, which is E, A, D, G, B, and E. So like I said, you can go and match the notes to the piano on the guitar, or if you're using recording software like Logic or GarageBand, there is a guitar tuner uh, program on there as well. So this is an electric guitar, it has steel strings. Uh, you might have an acoustic steel string guitar or an acoustic nylon string guitar. Um, you tune it the same way. I normally have my guitar on my right leg when I'm sitting down, uh, but you could also put it on your left leg as well. Um, it might be easier for your left arm and your fingers to reach. Um, you normally would want a footstool uh, to put your foot on to raise your, your leg up or have a guitar pillow for this leg. Uh, normally you see classical guitarists play here. It's actually easier to reach up the neck as well. But for now, we're gonna leave it on the right leg. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is your right hand technique. And right now I'm using a guitar pick. So what I normally like to do is um, have my hand out, like I'm gonna shake someone's hand. I curve my fingers and I put the pick on the index finger and I put my thumb on top of that. So that's how I uh, hold my pick like this. Kind of have the pick pointing out of the thumb. Um, I'm going to rest my pick on the lowest string of the guitar, the thickest string. That's the E string or the sixth string. The, for the six strings of the guitar, we have the lowest string is six, five, four, three, two, one. And the names of the strings, uh, as you see when you're tuning the guitar, is E, A, D, G, B, E. Um, what I am doing right now is I'm doing a rest stroke. So I rest my pick on the string, so the tip of the pick is here, and I play through the string and rest on the string below it. So I do that for all the other strings. And when I get to the first string, I imagine there's another string below that. Um, so if I do that a little bit quicker, and I keep speeding that strum up, then I will have a nice, solid strum. So if I'm playing any chords, then it sounds really nice. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna work on is our left hand technique. So our index is our one, our middle is our two, ring finger is three, and our pinky is four. One, two, three, four. So what you wanna do when you're holding down the guitar strings is imagine you're holding um, a plum in your hand. Um, my teacher used to always say a hamburger. You want to just have this curvature to your fingers in your hand. So if you touch your thumb and your index and your other fingers together and you squeeze, that's the kind of pressure that you want for the guitar strings on the guitar neck. So as you can see on the guitar neck, we have these frets, these metal bars called frets. Um, when you're holding down a string, um, you want to play as close to the fret as possible, not on the fret because you'll get some buzzing and it won't sound good. Um, so you wanna play as close as possible. So what I like to do is you make sure that your thumb is flat against the back of the neck. When you turn your wrist, your thumb will just move to like a 45 degree angle. Your other fingers, your one, two, three, four, index, middle, ring, and pinky, you want them to be curved and you wanna use the tip of your finger to hold down the string. So you wanna make sure when you have your thumb and your other fingers that are holding down the strings, 
you're gonna imagine you're squeezing those fingers together through the guitar neck. And you'll get the best sound that way. So that's a little technique um, that we'll work on maybe in another video, but for right now, I want to show you some guitar chords so we can kind of get started playing some chords and a chord progression. So the first chord we're gonna learn is an E minor chord. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your second finger, your middle, and put it on the second fret. And your third finger, you're gonna do the same thing and put it on the second fret fourth string. So your middle's on the fifth string. And you have an open sixth string and you have an open third, second, and first string. So when you're strumming, just like we did before, that rest stroke strum, you'll be able to play that chord. Now the next chord we're gonna learn is the E major chord. It's only a one note difference, minor to major. We're gonna take our index finger, that's free, and we're gonna put our first finger here on the third string, first fret. So it's gonna sound like this. So the only difference is this, in an E major chord, there's a G sharp, in an E minor chord, there's a G. We're gonna play the A minor chord. So all you're gonna do is shift down your fingers, one string, and you're gonna play five strings. So you're gonna start on the fifth string, and play five strings. So you have your second finger on the fourth string, third finger on the third string, first finger on the second string, and your fifth and first string are open, and you don't play the sixth string. I actually use my thumb to lightly touch the sixth string, which mutes the string. So if you lightly touch the strings, it will mute the strings. The next chord we're gonna play is an A major chord. So that A major chord, one note difference, minor to major, taking that first finger and we're gonna add our pinky on the second fret. So we have all three fingers here, second finger, third finger, pinky on the second fret, but on the fourth, third, and second strings. I'm gonna strum there and we have our A major chord. After this, we're gonna go back to our E minor chord and we're just gonna shift all our fingers towards the sixth string. And we're gonna play all the strings back to the E minor chord. We're gonna take our pinky off that third string. So as the progression goes, we have the E minor, E major, A minor, A major. So if you're just starting out learning how to count music, um, you count four beats per measure, which is one, two, three, four. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna play four strums for each chord. So we have our E minor, one, two, three, four, E major, A minor, A major, and then we repeat that. So I played it fairly quick. Um, you wanna play it as fast as you can play it in time and transitioning to the, to the different chords. That's always the toughest part, is transitioning. So that's something you can work on before you get to playing it like this. Play it as slow as you like. So I think that's it for now. Work on that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. The next video I'll be moving forward with some more things that you can work on on guitar. Thanks so much, have a great day.